is a prayer motivator devotional broadcast with Daniel White III. We are glad that you have joined us as Daniel White III encourages us to pray without ceasing throughout the day, every day, for the glory of God. Welcome to another prayer motivator devotional broadcast. As always, it is so good to be with you today to challenge you and to encourage you to pray. Today, I would like to begin by sharing with you a poem titled, Are You Astonished? When God Answers Prayer by Margaret Cagle. Peter preached, and the king threw him in jail. The church prayed for him to be free and well. He was bound with chains as tight as could be, but the angel of the Lord broke his chains free. The angel said, Arise, get your clothes, let's leave. Peter said, God has delivered me, I believe. He came to John's mother's house. It wasn't late. There he stood and knocked on the door of the gate. Right in the middle of someone's prayer, there was a loud knock. Who would dare? Now, who can that rude disturber be? We're praying for Peter to be set free. A damsel named Rhoda investigated. She heard Peter's voice. She was elated. She forgot to open the door. She then cried, Peter is here. He is standing outside. You're crazy, girl. You know Peter's in jail. Rhoda said, Peter is here. And he is well. Maybe it is his angel, someone said, as another prayer warrior scratched her head. <clears throat> Peter stood there and knocked more and more until they finally decided to open the door. They were astonished that he was there Maybe they forgot that God answers prayer. Somebody ought to say man for Margaret Cagle. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as a reminder, the simple purpose of this broadcast is to motivate, to encourage and exhort you to simply just pray. In the spirit of Nike, just do it, whether you feel like doing it or not. This radio broadcast is not necessarily for people who already know the secret and power of prayer and who actually practice genuine prayer on a regular basis to Almighty God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rather, it is for those who may find it uh, difficult to pray, for people who claim they do not have time to pray. I am convinced that most Christian people uh, really do not need to learn how to pray if they have been saved for a while. They need to simply just pray. I believe there's a problem more with the will uh, then a lack of knowledge. God has called us as his children to pray. I believe that if I can get you to just pray, to just do it, God will help you to pray as you, as you should and all sorts of wonderful things will begin to happen for you, your family and whatever God has called you to do. 
for you see we do not pray ladies and gentlemen based upon our subjective feelings we pray based upon objective facts in the word of God our prayer motivator verse for today is Matthew 6 5 which reads and when thou prayest thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of man, men verily I say unto you they have their reward allow me to share with you some commentary on this verse from Matthew Henry's commentary in prayer he goes on to say we have more immediately to do with God than in giving alms and therefore are yet more concerned to be sincere which is what we are here directed to when thou prayest it is taken for granted that all of the disciples of Christ pray as soon as ever Paul was converted behold he prayeth the Bible saith you may as soon find a living man that does not breathe as a living Christian that does not pray for this show every one that is godly pray if prowless then who uh, if prowless rather than graceless now when thou prayest thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are nor do as they do those who would not do as the hypocrites do in their ways and actions must not be as the hypocrites are in their frame and temper he names nobody but it appears by chapter 23 verse 13 that by the hypocrites there he means especially the scribes and Pharisees now there were two great faults they were guilty of in prayer against each of which we are here cautioned vain glory and vain repetitions we must not be proud and vainglorious in prayer nor aim at the praise of men somebody ought to say man right there ladies and gentlemen we will discuss this verse further uh, in our next broadcast now our prayer motivator quote today is from E.M. Bounds he said the church is not a democracy in which we have chosen God but a theocracy in which he has chosen us the church is the only society in the world that never loses any of his members even by death amen somebody the church upon its knees would bring heaven upon the earth our prayer motivated devotional today is from, from or rather it's part six of our series titled how to exercise your faith and grow greater faith in god uh, by that great prince of preachers and prayers dr john r rice of years gone by who's in heaven now and we thank the lord for him and what he did while he was here and he goes on to say in john fifteen seven, we are told if ye abide in me and my words abide in you ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you that blessed promise evidently means that if we abide in Christ and so surrender our will to his and particularly particularly as his word the scriptures abides in us and as we become familiar with his promises and his nature we can ask for anything we want and get it faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God 
no one can ever have faith who does not make much of the word of God. That is the reason, no doubt, that Proverbs 28, 9 says, He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. There is no such thing as right praying prayer that really gets things from God. The prayer of faith, except as it fits in with the spirit of God's holy word. To become familiar with the Bible with a heart familiarity is to become familiar with God, who he is, how he acts, and what he has promised to do. Let no Christian ever believe he will grow strong in faith, except as he grows strong in a love for and enjoyment of, and in a heart surrender to, the teachings of the Word of God, the Bible. Now, dear friend, it is time for us to pray based upon our faith in God and the Word of God. Please remember the announcer will provide the information for you to send in your prayer request at the end of this broadcast. Now, friend, please join me in prayer. And help us not to pray. And let our first prayer be, Lord, help us not to pray as the hypocrites do, for vain glory and with vain repetition. Holy Father God, we do pray in the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We give you the glory, praise, and honor. We thank you, Lord, for uh, your holy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who makes all of this possible. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of thine Holy Spirit and for the gift of your holy word. And Lord, we pray that you would have mercy and grace upon us all, everyone who's joining me in prayer at any time of the day, in any time zone, Lord, around the world. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive us of our sins. And Lord, we pray that you'd wash us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness in the blood of Christ. Lord, we pray that you would empty us of self and fill us today afresh and anew with the fullness and the power of your Holy Spirit. Deliver us today from temptation, evil, and sin. Grant us, Lord, your grace and the power of your Holy Spirit to love right, to live right, to think right, to do right, uh, to be truth-tellers. Please rebuke and bind the devil and his demons and his hosts from our families, our friends, our family members, uh, and everyone who's standing for you in these last days. Surround us with the band of thine holy angels and a wall of your holy fire. Now, Holy Father God, we pray for every pastor, every church leader, every missionary around the world who stands for you in these last days. Uh, strengthen them and bless them. Lord, we pray for over three million people to come to know you as Savior through this ministry alone. We pray for millions more to come through other ministries and other outreaches around the world. Uh, Lord, we pray for the revival of your church. We pray for the healing of this nation. We pray, Lord, for uh, all of our governmental leaders, the president, and all other officials around the country and around the globe, that you would give them wisdom, that you would save each one of them and lead God in directing them, uh, lead God in directing them in the way that you want them to go, that we may lead peaceful lives. Now, Lord, we pray for three people who have sent in prayer requests. Uh, Lord, through our ministry here at Gospel, light society. First up, Lord, we pray for Namala in India, save her marriage, work uh, a miracle for her and her husband uh, to get along and to be the husband and wife that they should be for your glory. 
Lord, we pray for Roblin in Arizona. Give her relief from financial hardships. Give her better health for her husband and for herself and, uh, we, and for her son, Anthony. Lord, we pray for, for Lady in South America. Give her guidance in the relationship that she is in right now. Uh, that it would glorify your holy name. Holy Father God, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for the following people who have received you into their hearts recently, who have been born again. We pray, Lord, that you would confirm and strengthen them in the faith, encourage them in the faith, help us to do our part. We pray uh, that you would uh, fill them with your Holy Spirit and help them to stand for you in these last days. We pray specifically for uh, Linda in Columbia, uh, Faith in Donaldsonville, Georgia, and Adon in Peru. Uh, now, Lord, we pray for the following people who have been saved for a while but have somehow gotten away from you, but they have rededicated their lives to you. We rejoice with them in this decision and pray that they will keep their com uh, commitments to you and be strengthened in their faith. We pray specifically for Bob in, uh, here in America, Laura in South Africa, and Aluchi in Nigeria. Holy Father God, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and for his sake. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you're listening to this broadcast and you have never received Jesus Christ as your Savior, please notice with me the Word of God. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9 and 13, that if thou, you shall confess with thy mouth of the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him Jesus Christ from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, friend of mine, if you are willing to trust Christ as your Savior today, please pray with me the following prayer. Holy Father God, just repeat after me. I realize that I am a sinner and that I have sinned against you, that I have broken your laws. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. Help me to repent of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart today and save my soul and change my life forever. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you have received Jesus Christ into your heart just now as your Lord and Savior, I want to congratulate you. Please feel free to contact us today so that we can send you a free copy of our pamphlet titled, What to Do at the Enter Through the Door. This will help you get started in your Christian life. Until next time, remember, dear friend, pray, think, do. God bless you.